Nailed, creators of lovely thick analog sounding plugins grabbed the well known Teletronics LA2A leveling amplifier and made their own version. Since this compressor is one of the most sought after compressors in existence and you can find it in plugin form by many developers, what makes the Nailed U2A special? Well, it has to be the sound and added functionality. See, the original LA2A has only these functions. What Neald has added is controlled with these four knobs. But first, the sound and basic controls of the U2A and LA2A. The compressor is an opto tube compressor and is very much used on vocals, acoustic guitar and bass guitar. But use it wherever you think it will fit. It works really simple. Play audio and increase the peak dial. This control essentially lowers the threshold and, with that, increases the amount of compression. The attack and release time are program dependent as it's called. That means that both attack and release will change depending on the audio going in. It's like a one knob plugin in that regard. The gain rotator isn't input gain, but clean output level. Adjust to counter any reduction in overall level caused by the compression. You really have to play with the peaks dial to get the right amount of attack, release and compression. Now this little R37 trim controls something nice. And that's the way how the compressor sees the audio and applies its compression. This is called the side chain, and it attenuates the low frequencies, which means the higher frequencies will get compressed more. This is ideal if you want the high frequencies to be more firm, but want to keep the low end dynamics more intact during compression. The compress limit switch lets you choose between compression and limiting modes. Compress adds a compression ratio of around 4 to 1 with a pretty gentle knee, so how quickly or slow the compression kicks in. A picture perfect life with you, a cherry slurpy shed for two. If this is paradise, don't wake me up. A picture perfect life with you, a cherry slurpy shed for two. If this is paradise, don't wake me up. A picture perfect life with you, a cherry slurpy shed for two. If this is paradise, don't wake me up. A Limit is almost brick walling the dynamics and the knee is also more sudden. A picture perfect life with you, a cherry slurpy shed for two. If this is paradise, don't wake me up. A picture perfect life with you, a cherry slurpy shed for two. If this is paradise, now these don't controls are on every up. LA2A, and Neolt added these four. Before we get into these, make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on the latest new cool plugins. The four dials added by Neolt are mix control. It's something you find basically on every LA2A inspired plugin. Good for parallel compression. Let the compressor work hard and dial in the compression to taste.
This will let you keep the original dynamics better than with 100% compression if you're after that. Recovery is a big added feature, because the LA-2A is program dependent, so it changes its attack and release based on the incoming audio, you might not always get the right release. Recovery lets you adjust this release time, to the left is slower, and to the right is faster. Is this all just something I build in my head? Can we all just... Live in this heaven instead I think I'm losing it I have to admit I've been building a paradise Building a paradise in my dreams Aging is another dial that shows me that there are some clever cookies at work at Neil. With emulations like the U2A, you always get into discussions like which is the best LA2A version, version X is better than the one emulated, and so on. Neil overcomes this with the aging dial. By changing this setting, you basically change the wear of the T4B opto cell gets over years of use and age. This opto cell is responsible for the compression. The most obvious differences you will hear are in the transients and high frequencies. The tube circuitry of an LA-2A and the U2A adds richness to audio. Technically speaking, second harmonics are added, and that results in a musical, very pleasing, richer sound. The U2A absolutely nails that, and Neild has added the drive control to increase tube saturation, even into overdrive. What's cool about the U2A is that when you leave the peak dial at zero, you can use the drive circuitry for saturation only. That adds some nice flexibility. On top of that, the drive is level compensated, with no change in level if you turn this dial. In my opinion, Nailed has, once again, hit it out of the park with the U2A. If you are on the lookout for an OptoTube LA2A style compressor, put this one on your shortlist. Nailed has a knack for thick sounding plugins and compressors, like the one which is displayed on screen and linked in the description below. I'll see you in that one.